Today, we're taking a look at something extra special, a one-of-a-kind penthouse apartment in Dubai Marina. Let's take a look around and let me know what you think this should be worth. Today is either going to be one of the best days of our lives or a complete waste of time. <laughs> Hello everybody, so I'm sat here with Nathan. In the past I've sold penthouses to a client and we're looking to resell the problem. The fucking cameras there. Oh lad, my head was gone. I was thinking who's talking to the room fucking empty. Lad, you are mad move over. My fucking so, call. Isn't it mad the way he speaks to himself, talks to himself every day? We're looking to resell the penthouses, but the client wants to join them. So we're gonna have to develop it on the call and see if we can make a passage or tear the wall down to join the two penthouses to make a large one. And we're gonna have to sell it in the call, the buyer in the call, and then once the buyers came out to the call, we are um, gonna be in a meeting with my clients looking to purchase two villas for 50 million is the total cost. And we're gonna be looking to close that deal. So fingers crossed, it'll actually be the biggest deal I've ever done. Biggest deal for me, I think it wasn't in terms of sale value, it was more commission generated. Um, so commission generated, been in real estate, what, a year? Yeah. yeah. It was about 148,000. I think for, for, for someone like yourself though, you are a numbers person, so you'll do two, three, four deals a month. Yeah, instead yeah, of doing one every four months. Yeah, yeah. you're doing apartments at the end of the day, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, all right, you'll do a villa there and there, but predominantly you're focusing on apartments, so yeah, it true. is a numbers game, isn't it? I wouldn't actually tell you what my biggest deal is because I don't think there's anything good to come from that. Um, but I've done a couple of big ones over the last 12, 10, 12 months. Um, over the last four months, then? Um, no, it's been longer than that, 10, 12 months. Yeah. Oh yeah, because we're I meeting the police was one as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then um and then I'm working on a big one at the moment, which will be mega. Um I think it's gonna happen, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Can you hear me, Roger? Yeah. You got me loud and clear, yeah? How did that mean? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, can you hear me? You sound like you're in a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just come off the Zoom call. There was a bit of confusion as opposed to which Zoom call we were going on. So the buyer, well, the seller, the buyer, the buyer for the villas, is um, I had another call to take and just got a little bit annoyed because we were five minutes late, which hopefully won't be uh, getting in the way of doing the deal. So we've been arranged for five o'clock anyway, so let's see how we get on then. Well, I don't think it affected that. I think if we was on that Zoom call. Yeah, but the, the buyer ended up getting off. Remember? Buyer never. Sorry, the seller. The seller got off. Yeah, but the seller the got off. Seller's was doesn't matter though, lad. Think of the people who are on it, the relationships No, but my idea was to have the seller on that call and then we were going to go on to the next call um, and the seller was going to buy something. <laughs> Good idea. Back, back last year it was when I sold the penthouses to the clients and then Nathan's came in with a buyer who wanted to put two penthouses together because he decided that he wanted four or five thousand square foot set over two penthouses. But we need to take a wall out, we need to get the developer involved, didn't we? It was, yeah. a, it was a tricky day, and it always is when you've got to get a developer involved, speak to the right person, you need to get the architects involved and things like that. It was a tricky deal. I think it was more the approval process, though, what was tricky. Like, for example, we could get the developer approval, but then you needed no to seek approval from Dubai. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't put it in writing, and then we needed approval from Dubai Municipality. So, yeah, it was a bit tricky, but we got there in the end there. Yeah. Today is either going to be one of the best days of our lives or a complete waste of time. <laughs> so I've just sent over the email 
The person you want to speak to is the CFO, and you need to get approval from the guy um, who's got his own private jet. It's all very fancy. And uh, he's taking off in 10 minutes. Yes. Uh, 10 minutes now, so um, yeah, hopefully you can get the approval before we proceed with something later on this afternoon. These clients that Gary's got are from Amsterdam. Um, he's actually known them now, I think, three or four years. Uh, they came in via an inbound, an inbound call, a company that we worked at previously. Uh, he took them out, met them, played golf, really wined and dined them. Uh, and they ended up buying, I think, five or six apartments in downtown through him. Um, and then they disappeared for two or three years and kind of exited Dubai and got back in touch at the start of last year, said that they wanted to reinvest back in Dubai. Um, we took them out, we've met with them, played golf, uh, and built a long-standing relationship whereby they obviously trust Gary and, and Shrada. Um, yeah, so that's, that's how we met. They actually came in from an inbound call at an agency we met previously, that we were working for previously. Right, Lorenzo, tell us your hottest listener at the moment. Uh, I have just taken on a half floor penthouse in Marina. Okay. Um, so it's an elite residence within the cluster of the tallest towers in the world. Yeah. Full sea view, full bar, palm view, upgraded throughout. So yeah, I'm going to go take Sounds a look good. at it later today, show a client and also get a video done on it to put on our social media. Okay, cool. Why don't you take us along then? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Go take a look later. Today, we're taking a look at something extra special. A one of a kind penthouse apartment in Dubai Marina. Let's take a look around and let me know what you think this should be worth. So we're going to be heading down to the marina to take a look at a penthouse that we've just taken on. Not yet hit the market. Um, so we're going to be showing a client and also heading down there to get our video done, put out on social media platforms and on the portals as well. Hmm. It's been a whirlwind. Um, to be fair, I've done a fair few little things, yeah. um, a fair few deals since. I feel a lot more experienced now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, good. it's going okay. Yeah. So how many deals would you say you've done since we last seen you? Probably around like eight. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Eight or ten. So yeah. yeah. Some bigger than others, some little ones, but yeah, about eight. My last memorable deal was the, not the one I did last week, the one before that, uh, purely because it went on for about three weeks. It was like probably my most stressful deal. Um, it was literally one viewing with my client. So I thought at the start, oh, this is gonna be a breeze because you know I've only done one viewing and I've rented it out. But actually it was not a breeze at all. It took a fair, fair bit of time, but we got there in the end. Okay, so um, we've come to, I've come to Arabian Ranches too, um, to come bring these beautiful flowers to my clients that I sold, Azelia Villa 19, Arabian Ranches 2. It's a type 2. It was my second property that I sold. And I feel like, I like to feel like my clients become like my friends. I like to build up a personal, relationship with them and it's part of my networking that I love to do so I bought lilies because lilies is one of my favorite flowers so orchids and lilies are my favorite I just hope that Anne-Marie will love them so yeah so this is what I'm gonna do hopefully they're home When I knocked on the door, um, I knocked on, on the door and um, my clients opened the door and she was just in a casual loungewear and she was just shocked, absolutely shocked that I was standing at the door with this bunch of flowers. And I remember the first thing we did, I just put my arms out because I'm a hugger and I love hugging. I love showing, 
you know, I'm very warm and I and I love showing feelings. And when it's mutual, especially, I just think there's nothing like giving someone a big hug. And we just hugged and hugged and just felt the love. And it's just so lovely, like when you're connecting with people and it's genuine, you know, I just love genuine and being authentic and real. That for me is number one. For all my clients, I make friends with my clients because for me, it's all about energy, it's connection, it's getting on with them clients. I do feel like when you connect with someone and you can sit and have a coffee and chat and laugh and you get to know about my family, their family, it just makes it extra special. And I really, really want to be able to continue my friendship with my clients. Absolutely. I would hate to sort of just sell them a property, they move in and I never hear or see from them again. No way. This is not me. It's not how I like to do things personally.